every year uh, World Cancer Day is celebrated by WHO and UICC. WHO and UICC thought by celebrating this day, they would like to create awareness amongst the public about this deadly disease. About 8 million people die of cancer. In 2009, 8 million people died of cancer. So by 2014, cancer is going to be the largest killer in the world. I mean, exceeding coronary artery disease and uh, trauma as well. So to decrease this mortality and morbidity from cancer, WHO thought we would create awareness amongst the public about the early warning signals of cancer so that people talk about it, discuss about it, and uh, as soon as they face the symptoms, they would go and meet their family physician so for proper diagnosis. So this year, the theme is together it is possible throughout. So no one organization, either government or non-governmental organization, uh, can create this. Every person, together, all of us, every individual, every group, every organization, governmental and non-governmental, together should strive hard to create this awareness amongst the public so that they would be well aware of the early warning signals of cancer and would so that if people are aware of the warning signals of cancer, they would be able to detect early, they would be able to go to their physician early, get diagnosed early and get cured from cancer as well. We have a very high-end digital mammography at Omega Hospital. The greatest advantage of digital mammography is that the radiation dose to the woman is very, very minimal. Nowadays, for all people who are at risk, we advise mammography annually from their 40 until their 65. So whenever they're having mammography annually, the radiation dose should the, to the breast should be minimal. So the digital mammography, the radiation dose is halved when compared to the conventional mammograms. We have a very high-definition PET CT scan and very high-end radiation uh, technology machine, that is VMAT, Volumetric Modulated Arc Therapy. This volumetric arc therapy, radiation doses is given to the target organ without any radiation add to the adjoining organs. This is the greatest advantage. Cancer generally affects older individuals, those above 40, breast cancer, almost all the cancers. Cancers do occur in pediatric age group, cancers do occur in children, cancer can occur in young age also. But what is important as we grow old, chances of developing cancer are much higher. For example, at the age of 50, 1 in 50 will have breast cancer, whereas at the age of 80, 1 in 10 will have breast cancer. In women, the most important cause of ca uh, cancer is cervical cancer, which is caused by viral infections, human papillomatous viral infection. Now we have a vaccine for this. As of now, every 8 uh, minutes, one woman dies of cervical cancer, and by 2025, it's going to double. So if you could promote uh, that uh, vaccination would uh, decrease the chance of cervical cancer or vaccination would prevent cervical cancer occurrence in a girl, in a woman, so, so that we can reduce the incidence of cervical cancer. This monthly bulletin is aimed at creating uh, uh, awareness amongst the public as well as medical practitioners. We're going to bring this monthly bulletin and give it to everybody, almost all the doctors in Andhra Pradesh, free of cost, so that they would be aware of the recent advances in cancer surgery, cancer management, that is including radiation and chemotherapy, bone marrow transplantation, targeted therapies. A lot of research is going on in the cancer treatment world over. This has to reach our uh, medical practitioner so that they can convince their patients to undergo treatment. So the main aim of is to create an awareness amongst the public as well as the doctors about the latest treatments of cancer and early warning signals of cancer.